So there's a woman who saw a big flag that says Trump lies all the time and it filled her with rage and you wouldn't like her when she's angry. So she immediately began destroying it. Like she was worried her hat was gonna, obviously she's got the MAGA hat and everything. Um, you don't have to like a banner. That doesn't mean that you get to just rip it to shreds and then cover yourself in a flag as she did. Um, it's just such an entitled sort of thing. That flag had to have cost a couple hundred dollars to put together. You ripping it up, not acceptable. Dan, what do you think? I, I'm trying to put myself in the mind of this woman. I was like, is this? This isn't. This isn't has nothing to do with you. Like this is Donald Trump is not gonna come and go. Oh my God, there was that one woman who tried to take away that banner that said I was lying, and she's she's. She's the next Melania, I tell you. I'm gonna wife her up. I'm gonna take her all to these wonderful places. I'm gonna wine and dine. I'm gonna spend the next, you know, five months until I find someone else with my life with her. Like, I don't get why these Trump people feel that simping for their guy, their boss, their big man, or whatever is going to somehow help them. Like, what what yeah. does this over here actually help you, like, achieve? Even with like yeah. things I disagree with, I don't get the um, I don't get the mindset to try to. Uh, like take away the banner at all. It's it's a little bit of a weird behavior for me. Yeah, they're just look. They they their culture is. I am simultaneously the best human that's ever existed. I'm a part of the group that is the most amazing, pure. Uh, they would say racially pure uh, people ever. And simultaneously, I am the biggest victim that has ever existed. Everybody is arrayed against us because I'm so perfect. And they just they have lusted after violence and chaos breaking out for years. They they love talking about a civil war. That doesn't mean that every one of them actually wants to be involved in it. They mostly want to watch it on Fox News, drink a beer and point at the chaos. Um, but they love the idea of their political opponents being rounded up and killed. And so any of these individual people isn't necessarily gonna take part in that, but ripping apart a flag, you're part of the struggle. That's the civil rights fight of their age. But anyway, um, some people got a little bit of ahead of themselves. I think in this, we're gonna show you a video and we need to add a little bit of context to it. So this is a what, what contextually people are saying, we don't know for sure. A boom op uh, operator for a major network apparently got into a clash with one of these protesters. That's what people say is going on in this video, but you can decide for yourself, take a look. With me. Grab my purse. What's wrong with you, bro? You're picturing me like an idiot. I will kill your Get him. Uh-uh. Why are you pushing me? Get the out of here. Don't want your kind in here. Oh, yeah? Come on. Bring your wrist and toss me. I'm the one for you. I'll kill you. So it's impossible to say what led up to that conflict. Um, but there is definitely something about the juxtaposition of like the, the the equipment that a boom operator uses. It's not literally like a tactical vest for a soldier, but it kind of looks like it. And what sells it for the other guy is the coffee that he's holding in the little to go cup or whatever. It's like you 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 mash up those two things and it just it doesn't look like that's the line you want to cross, buddy. Um, but anyway, thankfully. People did pull them apart. There was no violence. The threats to kill him were not acted on. What do you think? I don't know. I heard some like racial epithets beneath uh, certain parts of that video. So I feel like they're, you know, again, this is my speculation here, but that might have led to some of that. I, I have Could be. Could yeah, be. I, I have a um, in general, you should not respond with violence. And you should also take the high ground kind of mood to this. But I also have the um, twisted T school of philosophy, which is that black people walk <laughs> around every single day waiting for someone to give them an excuse for something like that. <laughs> Same thing with that guy. And so um, I have a big hat in my heart. Don't mess with people who are on production in the middle of their shoots. Don't mess with people who are just trying to do their job and don't be racist to them. Very easy to avoid altercations, apparently too hard for a lot of Trump supporters.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.